I'm here. You can't doubt her determination to carry on. The Queen back at work at Windsor. How are you? Well, as you can see, I can't move. As scandals linked, her children keep coming. Now the Metropolitan Police investigating cash for honours claims around Prince Charles's charity. The allegations first came out last summer that Michael Fawcett, one of his longest serving aides and the chief executive of the Prince's Foundation, may have offered to help a Saudi businessman to secure an honour and British citizenship in return for a donation. The palace says Prince Charles had no knowledge of the alleged offers and the Met says there's been no arrests or interviews under caution. The fact that they made a statement today rather than simply investigating behind the scenes demonstrates that they put it in the public domain, they're taking the matter seriously and in my view they need to pursue it without fear or favour. The timing could not be any worse as the fallout from Prince Andrew settling his sex abuse case continues and demands for him to be stripped of further titles, including Councillor of State and even Duke of York. People in my city, 88% of them, have said that they want that dukedom to be removed. And investigating this, this isn't a, a simple matter where the Queen could remove certain titles from her son. She couldn't remove the title of Duke. That has to be through a parliamentary process. In York, there was the sense that negative headlines are overshadowing the Queen's Platinum Jubilee year. The Queen, bless her, um, she does a fantastic job for the, for the country. And I believe she's been deeply, deeply hurt and embarrassed by this episode. It sounds a bit messy at the moment, but uh, I think there's still a place for them. I do feel sorry for the Queen um, because she, above everyone, has given everything. Whether it's about how Prince Andrew will pay his settlement or how Prince Charles's charity is run, it does all raise questions about the transparency of the institution. I don't see any advantage for us to uh, treat the royal family as if they were politicians and demand total transparency. I think the real problem is, is when they cross the line and the, the consequences for errors are catastrophic. In a year that is all about showcasing the monarchy, there will be a sense of relief that a trial isn't hanging over them, but also a realisation they aren't clear yet when it comes to the repercussions of ongoing investigations. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News.